Chapter 4 Shivaji's Explanation Those were very unsettled days. Shah Jahan from the north had dispatched a big army to conquer the Deccan. Pune, the principal town of Shahaji Raji's Jagir, was burned to the ground by Adil Shah of Bijapur. Shahaji Raji was in real trouble. On the auspicious day of Falgun Vardhya Triti, 1551 year of the Shaka era, that is on 19 February 1530, Shivaji Raja was born on the fort of Shivneri. Shivaji passed six years of his life in highly unsettled conditions. Jijabai told him stories of Rama and Krishna, of Bhima and Abhimanyu. She would recite to him the devotional songs of Namdev, Jnaneshwar or Eknath. Shivaji liked to listen to the exploits of brave men. He played with the children of Mavalas. They played hide and seek or played with a ball or top. He became popular with them. Shahaji Raji returned to Nizam Shahi but didn't get peace of mind. Lahuji Rao Jadav was killed in the court at the instigation of Nizam Shah himself. Shahaji Raji couldn't withstand this. He left Nizam Shahi and joined the Mughals. After the downfall of Nizam Shahi established by Shahaji Raji, its territory was divided by the Mughals and Adil Shah themselves. Adil Shah gave Jagir of Pune and Supe Parganas to Shahaji Raji. Shahaji Raji joined Adil Shahi. Shahaji Raji defeated many kings in Karnataka. Adil Shah awarded him with the Jagir of Bangalore. Shahaji Raji made it its headquarters. Jijabai and Shivaji were also with him.